Okay, so on this sample, I'm getting uh, all the uh, hubs, projects, and files inside my personal hub. And uh, if I extract this project, I can see some folders and some files. For each file, I have uh, different versions of that file. So this uh, parcel 3A DWG uh, drawing from Civil 3D, uh, that's the date when this version was created. If I click here, it will open this drawing. As this drawing came from Civil 3D, I can see the information about the, uh, the alignments, for instance. And if I select, let's say I select this alignment and go to Properties, I can see general information uh, from the drawing. And uh, here's the interesting piece. I can see uh, sub-entity data from this uh, alignment. And uh, I, if I keep going through the list, I can see that, for instance, there is a curve sub-entity to data curve and I can see the length, the radius, direction, core direction, uh, start and end station. So as this information is available here, I can also uh, get that information via the viewer API and uh, with that information perform some, uh, some kind of design check. So I created this uh, extension using the uh, data main, uh, sorry, the viewer API to create a toolbar button and when I click on it it's going to create a panel and uh, get all the sub-entity curves sub-entity we uh, there are curves uh, get the radius and compare with a uh, specified uh, uh, default value and say oh this is not approved approved or not and if I click I can also zoom to that uh, specific one and uh, fit that in the screen so this is a drawing uh, with many different alignments and as this is getting all the drawings from the uh, my my pri my personal hub I can also open a different drawing and again uh, it, it, it takes some a few moments to open this uh, this toolbar button because it's checking if I have any alignment on this drawing if I have alignments on the drawing it will uh, show the button click here I can see center line left and right alignments uh, this one, uh, I'm assuming this is approved because the radius is uh, more than 1000, so that's just a testing value. And again, if I click on it, it's going to select and uh, fit that on the screen. And again, I can see all the properties because it's selected. I'm not, I'm not just highlighting, I'm selecting that. And uh, if I click, the property panel will also change. And I can see all the information here. Uh, the same idea applies to different types of, of elements on the, on the CO3D drawing. So if I select, for instance, a thin surface, I can see some information about the thin surface from this drawing. And uh, it keeps going for many different types. So let's say if I select uh, this profile, I can see information about the profile. Again, for this one too. And yeah, so that's the kind of information I can see from CO3D drawings.